Okay, here I am at Black Point Fishing Area. I'm going out to uh, shoot some sunset images. I'm a little bit late, later than I wanted to be, but we'll see what we can get. Alright, take a look at this trail. I'm using my 3-axis gimbal right now and it's keeping the image very steady but uh, you can see as I'm walking there's a little bit of bounce so it kind of looks like a video game but I think the effect is kind of cool. As you can see here I shot this with my iPhone 6s and I'm using a gimbal called the Ziyun Smooth C gimbal. And we have a nice sunrise. We're going to come over to this cliff and take a look around. See if there's anything interesting to shoot. Alright, the sunrise is fading. There's too much cloud cover. We may not have very much light today. But I'm starting to think I need to move down the beach and see what's on the other side. Hopefully uh, we can get a little bit nicer light. I can do a little bit of time-lapse photography. So I'm going to head up this hill and down the trail to the other side of the beach. The purpose of this video is really to test out my new 3-axis gimbal for recording with my iPhone. And so far I like the results. It's nice and stable and smooth. If I pan a little bit too fast, sometimes you can see the horizon go a little bit crooked. But as soon as I stop panning, the horizon does come back. It almost look, has an airplane type effect to it. But uh, so far I'm liking the results. It, you know, playing with this gimbal has been a lot of fun. So. If you're interested in doing that kind of video, I, I recommend it so far. All right, now that I'm on the other side of the beach here, I'm going to start to do some time-lapse photography. Here you can see my tripod set up with my GH4, and I found some interesting water uh, for a foreground element. Unfortunately, there's still no light, uh, you know, it's very dull and cloudy, but I'm going to set up a time-lapse um, 
Here you can see uh, the back of the camera, what the histogram looks like. For the first time lapse that I did, I had set the shutter speed too high. You can see there that it was uh, a pretty fast shutter speed. Uh, I had like a 1300th of a second. If you want to get some motion blur in there, you want to use a slower time. Uh, so I reduced the shutter speed down to about a 15th of a second for the, the, the rest of the time lapses that I tried. And I'm not doing very long time lapses. That first one I did might have only been 100 shots. And then for some of the later ones, I might have kicked it up to uh, 200 shots, 300 shots, something like that. For that time lapse, I just let the GH4 create the video and then I did a little bit of grading to it in uh, Premiere, but if I had used the raw files, I think the quality would have been a little bit better, uh, especially on the second time lapse that you'll see coming up. But I think it did pretty well for, you know, just doing it right in the camera. The conditions started to get a little bit brighter right now during this time lapse, so the water might have gotten a little bit overexposed. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please leave your comments down below and visit me at morethanasnapshot.com.